Breakthrough, opening doors for new cancer immunotherapies. Hi, I'm Steve Blair and welcome to Breakthroughs. A first cell atlas of the human thymus gland could lead to new immune therapies to treat cancer and autoimmune diseases, new research has revealed. Experts from Newcastle University, the Wellcome Sanger Institute, the Ghent University, Belgium, map the thymus tissues through the human lifespan to understand how it develops and makes vital immune cells called T-cells. In the future, this information could help researchers to generate an artificial thymus and engineer improved therapeutic T-cells. Published today in Science, this human thymus atlas has revealed new cell types and identified signals that tell immature immune cells how to develop into T-cells. The atlas could also help scientists understand diseases that affect T-cell development such as severe combined immunodeficiency, SCID, and adds to the Human Cell Atlas initiative, which is creating a Google map of the entire human body. The thymus gland is located in the chest and produces T-cells, key white blood cells that fight infection and disease. These T-cells then leave the thymus to enter the blood and other parts of the body to mature further. T-cells seek out and destroy invading bacteria and viruses and also recognize cancer cells and kills them. Problems in thymus development causes defective T-cell generation. This can result in severe immune deficiencies such as SCID, leaving people susceptible to infections. Alternatively, it can affect T-cell regulation resulting in autoimmune diseases such as type 1 diabetes. While mature T-cells have been well studied, the development of the human thymus and T-cells within it are not fully understood. Researchers use single cell technology to isolate and analyze around 200,000 individual cells from the developing thymus and child and adult thymus tissues. They looked at which genes were active in each individual cell to identify the cells discovering new cell types and use those genes as tags to map each cell to its exact location in the thymus. Professor Hanifa said, with this thymus cell atlas, we are unraveling the cellular signals of the developing thymus and revealing which genes need to be switched on to convert early immune precursor cells to specific T cells. This is really exciting as, in the future, this atlas could be used as a reference map to engineer T cells outside the body with exactly the right properties to attack and kill specific cancer, creating tailored treatments for tumors. Therapeutic T cells are currently being used in the clinic to treat B cell lymphoma and leukemia cancers. However, a major drawback to these treatments is creating the right subtype of T cells. Dr. Park, the first author of the study, said we have produced the first human thymus cell atlas to understand what is happening in a healthy thymus across our lifespan, from development to adulthood and how to provide the ideal environment to support the formation of T cells. This openly available resource will allow researchers worldwide to understand how the immune system develops to protect our body. Wow, I'll leave a link in the description to the full article and as usual, please like, share, subscribe and take care.